Hi, this is Jack Stanley, and I want to have a little bathrobe conversation with you. You know, in the fall of 1787, in Philadelphia, a frail, tired, sickly Benjamin Franklin was carried out of the State House, which we now call Independence Hall. And he was brought to his sedan chair. And an old friend of Franklin's came. And she, she said, Dr. Franklin, what have you created in the State House in this meeting? And he said, a republic if you can keep it. Interesting words. Because in to today's world, I keep hearing Franklin's words. I keep hearing that warning by Benjamin Franklin. Because if you look at the state of the republic right now. It's on its ebb. It's in trouble. And the interesting thing is this, this I find rather fascinating, is so many people involved in the republic or who live in the republic have no idea it is a republic. They think it's a democracy. And they think that democracy is the way to do everything. Well, see, that's why in 1787, they looked at democracies and saw the horror of it, saw the problems with it, and saw what troubles it could cause. Now let's jump 200 years. Starting in the 1980s, there was a total and remarkable shift starting in government. And it has accelerated to the present day. And in this present day, we have a cry for socialism. And granted, socialism is part of our government now. Let's go all the way back to Social Security. I mean, that's... <laughs> and, and all of the other government benefits, which we love. But in this new age of socialism and democracy, I think they call them democratic socialists, they are devoid of an understanding of their history. And it's a frightening thing to observe. Because I am watching once again Benjamin Franklin's words, which should be proclaimed constantly to our youth, which should be proclaimed constantly to our leaders that should be proclaimed constantly to our press about the fact that this fragile, fragile republic has to be carefully nurtured or you will lose it. I have never felt more frightened for my country and its existence than I do feel right now. Can we keep this republic? Will Benjamin Franklin's statement become a reality? These are troubling times. I have said that countless times, but I cannot believe the plethora of events 
that seem to reinforce that view. It's a frightening time. And if you take a look at the actions of our executive office, if you take a look at the actions of our Congress, our Senate, our judicial, and now the FBI and CIA, which seem to be the fourth branch of government, where are we going? We are like a rudderless ship, and a rudderless ship just waiting to go crashing into a reef. Dr. Franklin, we heed your warning. And we should heed your other warning, too, that those that give up their freedom for security deserve neither. That's another one of his interesting sayings. And I'm paraphrasing, and both counts here a little bit. But ladies and gentlemen, take a look at the state of the nation. Take a look at the state of the Union. Take a look at the state of the Republic. And take a look at how many in this Republic don't even know it is. Be wary, learn, try to teach your kids, try to teach the people you know some of the history of this country, because we're getting led by lots of people who don't truly understand its history. Good and bad. I'm not saying the past was very good, but right now, we're on thin ice. And if you do not see that, and if you do not feel that, look again at everything, study our history, and look at how fragile a republic truly can be. Thank you.